what's up y'all it's Preston here and today I'm gonna make this a very quick video because I got some things to do my phone's finna die so I do gotta make this pretty quickly but this is my post reaction for the Tiafimo Lopez versus I mean not Tiafimo Lopez but the Josh Taylor versus versus Tiafimo Lopez post fight reaction so let's just get to it first round Tiafimo edged the round from his power advantage because he was making Josh Taylor think twice, you know. Because usually Josh Taylor just thinks once and then he throws his shots. Lately, Josh Taylor and his fight's been thinking like twice and stuff. And that's why he's not really looking that good, you know. And he made Josh Taylor like, you know, think twice and stuff. And then the thing is, is that Tiafimo had really good timing, and also his speed was really well. And that's what was giving Taylor a lot of trouble in that fight. What I realized uh, through the course of the fight is that Taylor didn't really have enough power against a guy like Tiafimo Lopez. You know, because literally when I was seeing him fight, he would literally, like, he would, he would engage, but it, like, it didn't really look like the punches were phasing Tiafimo. I mean, yeah, he was marking up Tiafimo, Tiafimo, but I just don't think it was really affecting Tiafimo. Tiafimo was taking those shots, you know, and stuff like that. And what I realized through the course of the fight is that Taylor didn't really have enough power against a guy like Tiafimo Lopez. Literally, he didn't even have that, like, kind of, like, just, like I just said. He, like, he just didn't really have, like, like the amount of power. You know, and stuff like, I don't even know, if, I think I just said that, but either way, it's just like, he, he just didn't have enough power. And then Tiafimo did, uh, but, alright, second round, Tiafimo, alright, 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 first, first of all, first of all, first round I gave to Tiafimo Lopez, now we're getting into the second round. Alright, second round, I gave the second round to Tiafimo Lopez, again, Tiafimo with his power advantage, I don't know why Taylor is boxing Tiafimo, because Taylor does a lot of his work in the inside. But he wasn't committing that much of, of doing that. And he was just fighting in the outside. And it was really, really annoying. Because it's like, you know, I mean, it was more in the like first course of the fight. You know, it, it got a little different towards the end. You know, round three, I gave that to Tiafimo Lopez. I gave that to Tiafimo Lopez because Tiafimo was landing, again, the heavier shots. Tiafimo was more busy. Taylor, Taylor's shots are not clean enough for me or hard enough uh, to swing him the round. And Taylor was lacking production, in my opinion, in that round. And Taylor was thinking a little too much in that round. And that's something you don't necessarily want to do against a guy like Tiafimo Lopez. And then the thing is, is and, and um, in the third round, I gave the Tiafimo Lopez. Fourth round. The fourth round I gave to Tiafimo Lopez because in this round was a comfortable round for Tiafimo Lopez. Because I feel like Tiafimo did not have have to change up anything. <clears throat> because Taylor didn't have really have to change his game plan through the whole fight. I feel like Taylor was doing the, the same thing all through the fight. Tiafimo was doing really good, again, blocking in that round. And that's also is, is making Josh... Again, think too much in the fight. Tiafimo keeps pushing Josh back when Josh tries to come in. I honestly feel like, though, Taylor is not, is again, not really strong enough for Tiafimo. It's just, it's, it's always like the fourth round, it's just, it's just, he, he's trying his best, but he's just not strong enough for Tiafimo. Alright, round five. I gave this round to Tiafimo Lopez again. Tiafimo is still doing the same thing at keeping Josh Taylor away with his power. And overall just doing good at controlling the distance against a guy like Taylor. And what I see also in that fight is that Tiafimo is doing really well at blocking again when Josh comes in the inside. Taylor pushing is pushing uh, Tiafimo in the inside. Taylor is hitting up more in the, in the, in the fifth round. But I still think that Tiafimo won that round. Sixth round. This round I actually gave to Josh Taylor. 
I gave this round to, to Josh Taylor because he did really good in this in the, in this round with his pressure and threw a little uppercut um, that kind of uh, that kind of gifted this round in my opinion to Josh Taylor. But Josh was also throwing some decent jabs and Taylor with the good uh, with the good right at the end of the round. So round six, I gave it to uh, to Josh Taylor. Seventh round. I gave this round also to Josh Taylor. Josh landed a combination in the beginning of the round. Josh Taylor did good by throwing <clears throat> more punches and slash being more active. Taylor was also throwing uh, hooks that was catching Tiafimo a little bit. So that's what kind of gave me that round to, uh, to Josh Taylor. And I feel like he should have done that through the fight. But I mean, it's kind of hard to do that uh, when... when Tiafimo is just a natural, stronger fighter <clears throat> in that fight. Eighth round, I gave it back to Tiafimo Lopez. Because, again, Lopez is using his strength, timing Josh when he comes in. The left hook was landing really well for Tiafimo. And he just kind of, like, he, was, he just cruised that round into winning. You know, into winning that round. It was just all through Tiafimo Lopez round. Round 9, I gave that round again to Tiafimo Lopez. I gave this round to, Tia, to Tiafimo because now he is starting again of landing more aggressive shots. And whenever Taylor gets hit, he doesn't want to engage uh, as much. You know, and then that would again put Taylor in that mode where he's kind of overthinking. And then he's kind of just holding his shots, waiting for the perfect moment. But then he's still getting pushed back by Tiafimo. And also... Tiafimo seemed to hurt Taylor a few times in the round. Tiafimo is also gaining confidence. You know, because like, you know, after he was hurting Taylor, I feel like that was just a bag for, for Tiafimo. Tenth round. Tenth round, I actually gave this round to Josh Taylor. And the only really thing I why is because Josh Taylor did good by starting early with his pressure fighting and kept going with his pressure fight uh, fighting. A little bit through uh, through the round. Even though when Josh was pressuring, it was uh, it was more of uh, him pushing Tiafimo, but he was still landing better shots in my opinion. So I so I gave that round to Josh Taylor. <clears throat> round eleven. I gave this round to Tiafimo Lopez because I gave this round to Tiafimo because I thought Tiafimo Lopez because he was doing um. The same thing of landing the harder shots and answering whenever Taylor came inside. And he would push Taylor backwards every single time whenever Taylor... Because Taylor was starting to get a little tired. And I feel like I feel like Tiafimo should have hit the body a little more. Because once he hit the body of Josh Taylor, he actually tired out Josh in that, in that round. And that's where, where like he just gassed out and he had nothing left there for the 12th round. So I feel like he should have threw a little bit more body shots in the fight. Because he could have really got Josh out of there if he would have, if he would have did that. But I feel like he was just more just practicing. Not and just not practicing, but he was just more of focusing from punching um Josh Taylor from the outside so Josh can um so so he could confuse Josh. Because Josh was um he, he was ready. He was ready. But I mean, you know, he just not ready enough. And yeah, round 12 came, and I gave that to Tiafimo Lopez. And the final score in this fight, I had it 9 rounds to 3 in favor of the winner. The takeover, he's back, Tiafimo Lopez. He absolutely pretty much dominated this fight. I, it, it, against a guy like, like, like Josh Taylor, he dominated this fight. You know, he did dominate this fight. Even though he gave away three rounds, but that doesn't matter. Against a guy like Josh Taylor, he still dominated this fight. Because I didn't pick uh, um, Tiafimo in this fight. I actually edged this fight uh, in favor of, um, of Josh Taylor. But my final thoughts in this fight, I thought it was a good I thought it was a good fight. I thought the commentary was being a little biased with, with Tiafimo Lopez in my opinion. But in my opinion, I felt like Josh Taylor was still winning rounds, but I just he wasn't winning that many rounds. You know, but I just think the, the commentary just, they didn't really expect, you know, Tiafimo Lopez to do that stuff. 
and he didn't really and they didn't really expect him to just come in there and, and completely just like dominate like that you know and and I can tell that Taylor was still trying his best but that was not good enough he couldn't really get his work done because T Fimo was utilizing his strength and even though T Fimo is the smaller fighter he was still the stronger fighter and he looked beautiful boxing his way it just that was the best performance from Tiafimo Lopez over Vasily Lomachenko or anybody. That was his most beautiful performance right there, right there. Very good performance. And he, and the thing is though is that Josh Taylor did come inside in this fight, <clears throat> but I feel like that wasn't really good enough because Tiafimo just again he just outmuscled him. He just was way stronger. T like it just. I mean, the thing is, it's not like Josh Taylor didn't have an answer. He had an answer, but he just didn't have the power. And I feel like that wasn't really phasing uh, Tifimo. But anyhow, I have to make this fast. Tifimo won this fight. I had it nine, uh, nine rounds to uh, three in favor of the winner, Tifimo Lopez. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm Preston. And make sure you guys, again, subscribe and peace out.